на завтра. Оу! That's never happened. What up, you guys? It's Tilly. I am going to try to make one of these videos for you guys. I've never really done this, so let's see how it goes. A lot of you guys on my live streams during this quarantine have been asking me about my makeup that I've been wearing. So I figured I'd show you guys my super simple, sweet quarantine makeup routine. Um, this takes me like 15 minutes. That's all I can be asked to do. Especially when I'm not leaving the house. Like, one time I was at this bar and I saw this sign and it was like, don't let tonight be a waste of makeup. It really spoke to me because I'm a cheap ass motherfucker and I'm poor. I ain't putting on makeup unless I got a reason to. You know, I'm just like, I'm not that kind of person. But you know, these are different circumstances and every once in a while you're just like, you, you get tired of looking like a gremlin. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that. I usually start off with some rose hip and vitamin C oil. This isn't really like any sort of fancy brand. I think I got this at TJ Maxx. I can't even find anything about this brand online, so you know, maybe do your research and find a good one, but this one seems to be working for me. Real quick, I'm gonna put my hair up in my little peacock bun. Look at these roots. These roots are so bad, you guys. See, I dye my hair myself so I could fix my roots, but then my ends get all f***ed on the bleach. I'm gonna start over so I said f I don't think you can cuss on YouTube anymore. Okay, here we are. Back to the rose hip and vitamin C oil. So I just like take a few drops and just Oops. Did it again. Take a few drops and put it all over my face and uh, rub it in. Don't let it drip in your eyes. Face was parched today. So right off the bat, look at that, you got, a, you got some glow going on. So we love about this rose hip oil. Gives you that little glowy glow that everyone's after these days. Ever since I started using that, a lot of people online and like my friends have been messaging me, like, your skin looks so good, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm just putting oil on it. So after that, I don't really know if this is necessary, I'm not an expert, this is just what I do. Just to really add to the gloss, I add some of this Glossier, right? That's how you say it? Glossier, Glossier, Glossier. This Glossier Future Dew, which is um, an oil serum hybrid. A hybrid of what? We don't know, but we like it. So you just take a little, little squirt of this. Like, I don't know what size that is. It's not a lot. And you just kind of put it like on your cheeks and wherever you want to like be especially glossy. Obviously on your cheekbones. I don't know, you can put it wherever you want, but to be honest, I just kind of rub it in everywhere. I am not a makeup expert. Just doing my best out here. Got a nice little moisturized glow going on. I'm not a heavy makeup person. I have psoriasis and just like pretty sensitive skin and the more stuff that I put on it, I find it just like suffocates my skin. So I don't usually wear heavy foundation. I do when I'm performing, I do in videos and photo shoots, but on like a day-to-day -day basis, I don't. Sometimes I'll put on a super glue, I think that's what it's called, CC cream, which is like color correcting. It's like a tinted sunscreen moisturizer, but I'm not doing that today because I don't want to. Next up, I use this Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser. It's a concealer, looks like this. I love this stuff. You can get it at the drugstore. I've been using it for years. It works really well for me. I just put this on my problem areas. Under my eyes. Chin, just like around my nose. The areas that usually are a little discolored. Then you just, you know, do the fancy old move of pouring your water bottle onto your beauty blender. You know that one. And I just like 
blend it in a bit. Now, what we're gonna do is pause the video because I forgot something. Okay, got it. After that, we'll do our brows. Sometimes I'll just do Glossier Boy Brow if I'm just feeling like real lazy, but I have a big scar in my eyebrow. You can't really see it that well because I've plucked it to hide it, but you can see it there. Literally, that's why my eyebrow is so short. The other day, my mom was like, why is your eyebrow so short? And I was like, um, do you not remember when I was two years old and I tricked and busted my head open? So, I'll use um, this what is this? L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer, this brow pen. If I want to kind of fill this in and extend this. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Now we got an edge. Oh, we got the other half of the eyebrow. do my brows pretty lightly unlike a few years ago when I went through a phase of thinking it was cute to literally paint black caterpillars on my eyebrows I was looking at pictures from a couple years ago and I was like I literally can't trust anyone in my life because nobody was like hello honey you look scary you're scaring the kids because that's scary I mean, I remember my mom bought me like a normal brow pencil for Christmas and it was like a light brown. She was like, yeah, show the lady at the makeup counter your eyebrows and she suggested this. And you know, she, she was trying to help me out and I, I, I didn't listen. The little brush, brow, brow brush. And kind of like blend it a little bit. Next we're gonna get this MAC brow set. It's all like brown and weird on the inside now because I put it on top of this. I usually apply this afterwards just to really set my brow hair is in place. Okay, so once that's done, we are going to move to our blush. Currently, I am loving these milk makeup little color sticks. Lip and cheek. Lip and cheek. I love them. Especially these mini ones, they're great if you wanna like just try some out. I feel like they're always offering some sort of like discount or trial set for people that haven't bought from them. It's affordable, you get more variety. The colors are Flip and Perk. So I usually alternate between the two of these depending on the mood. I'm gonna go for the brighter one because I mean, Beep. I'm very into makeup that I can apply with my hands. I just want to be able to literally like smash it on my face and rub it in and call it a day. I also love how moisturizing this blush is. It being like, um, what is this called? Like cream? Yeah, cream. Like a cream blush. So whatever, just put that on until you're you're happy with it. Blend it in with your hands. My next step is another milk makeup product. It is their Flex Highlighter. <clears throat> and I got onto this from my good friend Rob. He is an amazing makeup artist. He primarily does Billie Eilish, but he's worked with like everyone and I worked with him on a shoot and I'm constantly just like on his page looking at what he's posting because his makeup is phenomenal. So I bought this highlighter because of him and then I take this um, 
large fan brush. <laughs> totally knew what that was beforehand. And put it in the highlighter. And then I just kind of hit the cheekbones. I mean, this stuff is so great that you can kind of like put it all over your face if you're into the glow. This is a very natural, like hanging out at home or running errands or going to the studio look. So you're not gonna see anything like crazy drastic. Once I do that, I move on to my lashes with this uh, little curler and I go ahead and curl them. Uh, I just started doing this in the last like year because I used to be absolutely terrified of pinching my eyeballs out of my head. But honestly, it makes such a difference. Like, look at this eye compared to this one. If you ain't doing this, what are you doing? Do. Next up, we have this amazing paint stick palette from MAC, which they so kindly sent me after all my makeup was robbed. Thank you, MAC. You're amazing. I love this because you can honestly do so much with this. When I went to the Grammys, I used this to do my kind of like smeared paint eye look. I love it. I love, love, love this because you can really get like a fun pop of color without a lot of effort and powder and like a mess. So it's a great, great product. I use it a lot. So today I'm gonna take this pink, I've been really feeling that, and I just, again, finger. And uh, apply this to the lid. My eyelids are like pretty moist right now from the rose hip oil. If they weren't, one of my other go-to moves is to put um, a tiny bit of Aquaphor on top of this palette just to really get that like glossy lid look. I'm super into that at the moment. It just blends really well. You really only need like a tiny bit and it goes such a long way. If you overshoot it, it's so easy to just like take your finger and just like wipe it off. And you know what? I'll just put a little bit of this Aquaphor amazing product on just for kicks. You just kind of want to like dab it on. You don't want to like smear it. Just give it that extra gloss look. Lastly, well second to last. A mascara. I got this actually in one of the milk makeup like beginners packs or starter kits or something. I love it. It's the Kush mascara. It's really good. Put it on the lashes, put it on the girls. Bam. It's pretty much it, y'all. Pretty simple. But it's fun, you know, you have a pop of color, you're glowing, you got some highlighter. It kind of gets the job done. It adds a little color, adds a little excitement, but you, you're feeling fresh, feeling moisturized and uh, supported. You don't need a lot of brushes, something you can kind of apply with your hand. You got the Aquaphor out, you might as well take a little, pop it on your lips. Ooh, look at that. I'm a really big fan of like beauty products that help your skin, hydrate your skin, support your skin, and also give you the beauty effect of like glossy lip. Like I love a good shiny lip gloss, but that's not as nourishing to my skin as Aquaphor is. So this is really like killing a... two birds with one stone. No birds were killed. That's about it. That's my simple quarantine makeup routine. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions or comments or if you want to see more of my expert makeup tutorials. P.S. I have a new single coming out on April 23rd. It's called The Heart. It's a freaking bop. I'm not gonna lie. You're gonna want to dance. It's like driving away from a crime scene that's up in flames to your past, something you're letting go of. You're just in the convertible with your your homies. Middle fingers up. That's the vibe. 
the heart. April 23rd. I'm Tilly. I love you. See you guys soon. Yeah.